In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a schooner in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more videos like this one, I'll leave a link in the card above, as well as in the description, to a full playlist that you guys can check out. Anyway, let's get into building. Alright, so here we are on my flat tutorial world, and here is the build guys. So. In terms of its dimensions, it is 24 blocks long, it is 7 blocks wide, and it's also 24 blocks high. If you guys are going to be building this one in the water, which I kind of assume that you will do, you're going to be two layers under, so that means the water is going to be on the, well, where we've got the second kind of white layer, that's what's going on there. Place a block next to your water, go down, and that is your layer number one kind of height. In terms of the materials that you guys are going to need, you're going to, well, you're going to need to grab smooth quartz slab, stair, and a block. Also, white concrete, spruce planks, spruce stairs, and a jungle fence, just to get us all started with this one. If you guys want to build yourself a nice rectangle to build this in, you can do. Again, that is 24 by 7 blocks. Okay, and for layer number 1 to get us started, find the middle of your box if you're doing that. Go forwards by one and place down a spruce plank block. Place a spruce stair block on top. That's right, we're going to layer number two already with that one. And then have a jungle fence. And you can discard these three blocks. You don't need them uh, at all, at least for the foreseeable future. Then with your smooth quartz block, you're going to have a total of two blocks. One and two. Then out from this diagonally you're going to have a slab. So you're going to have an upper slab. There's going to be a total of seven of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Like that. Then we're going to come in and have one block here. And then a slab on the front of that one. Then we're going to do the same on the other side. So you get that diagonal for that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we got all of those. So we just need to fill in this with our blocks. There we go. That's it for layer number one. And now for layer number two, what we're going to do is right on front of the slab that you've got there, place a block of your smooth quartz, have a smooth quartz stair upside down on the front of that, and also on the side of it like that. So you've got it still front, uh, facing forwards, but just on the side of that block. Behind that uh, stair, you're going to have two blocks of your smooth quartz. Then we're going to have a slab. And then behind that slab, we're going to have four blocks. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a slab. And then behind this slab, we are going to, or not really behind this slab, uh, diagonal from that slab, just placed on a block, have another block coming over, so you'll just be over by one block there. Then have a slab, and then right over this, we're actually going to have an upside down stair, so just over that fence, we're going to have an upside down stair like that. So we'll do the same on the other side, then we'll sort out these little gaps, alright, I'll show you what to do. So upside down stair on the side of that block that you've already got, then we're going to have two blocks behind that, one and two. Then a slab coming out on the side, then four blocks, one, two, three, and four. Then what you're going to do is have a slab on the back of that, then diagonal from that, you're going to have a block here, a block on the end of that one, so it just kind of pulls over that. Then we're going to have a slab right here like that. Now what we're going to do right here is we're going to put a slab in on the inside of these bits here. Uh, and for me, I just put in a block on there. Um, I'll show you why. It'll make a lot more sense once we go into the interior, and we'll do a full interior tour at the end, but it's so that you can get into the back of this section. And I just put the block there so I can actually just put a uh, chest in the end on that, otherwise it's kind of dead space, but you do need that, that slab right there, like that. But guys, that's it for layer number two. And now for layer number three, what you guys are going to do is place a block directly on top of the last layer here where you've got your upside down stair. And you're going to come forwards with a smooth quartz stair as well. Now guys, up to you what you want to do. What colour do you guys want? Um, so what you are going to need is a stair block. So um, because we've got more slabs than stairs in the game, so it's best to start here. Choose one of these blocks as your colour. For me, I'm using mangrove because it's a new block for me. I quite like the red stuff, so I've been doing a nice uh, set of all of these using mangrove. But feel free to mix and match it up. Choose anything you want, any block any colour, whatever it is, doesn't have to be word, it can be anything, alright? But you're going to need a slab, a stair, and a block of those. What we're going to do is we're going to place a stair upside down on the side of that block there. And we're going to have two of the blocks behind it of your colour, okay? Then on the side of that one, we're going to have an upside down stair. 
then we're gonna have seven blocks behind. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So you should just be one over that slab. Then we get a mangrove uh, slab or colored slab, whatever you want, just coming off of the back of that one. Now back to our white block, so back to the uh, smooth quartz block. We're gonna have a block in just behind that one. One more. And then we're going to have an upside down stair right here. A block on top of this, upside down stair there. Upside down stair on the side there. Well, we can do that on the next bit, but you know, I was getting ahead of myself. Um, so right here, mangrove upside down stair here. Two blocks, one, two. Upside down stair again. Seven blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're going to have an upper slab right here. Then on the inside, you're going to have two blocks right there. Like that really. Now what you can also do is grab yourself a stripped spruce wood. This is going to be for the mast. And for the the frontmost mast you can have one right in here, okay? So you end up with a one block gap right here. But that's where your two blocks of your mast are going to be. At the back it's going to be slightly different. Well, it's going to be it is going to be slightly different obviously because it's a different place, but uh, where you get your slabs, that's where you're going to have your two there. And that's why when we step up we can get into this. And for me, I ended up putting in just two blocks of spruce planks here. And I think I ended up switching out this one right here for a block and then put in something like spruce planks. So I had one side to get into the little cabin. Uh, but like I say guys, I will show you all of that at the end of the video. But that is it for layer number three. And now for layer number four, what we're gonna do is right on the front here, we're gonna place a block of your colored blocks and my mangrove in this, in this case. Then an upside down stair is gonna be on the front of that one. Then right here, we're gonna have a block and then another block behind it. So it's just directly on top of the last layer. On this one, we're gonna have a block. Then we're gonna have two stairs, one and two. Then a block, then two stairs, one and two. Then we're gonna have three stairs, one, two and three and then a mangrove slab on the lower piece to finish up that bit. We'll do the same on the other side, then we'll get onto the little back bit, all right? So we're gonna have two blocks here, then a block, two stairs, block, two stairs, three blocks, one, two, three, and then a lower slab like that. Then what we're gonna do is where we've got that slab, just on the inside, we're gonna have a block, another block going back, so block there, block there. Then with our mangrove stairs, have three upside down mangrove stairs. This will just make the cabin stick out just by one block. Makes it look a lot better as well, which is always good. Build up your, uh, whatever it's called, the mast thing. That's the one. And then with our oak slabs, we're going to have a total of five oak slabs on the side here. So one, two, three, four, five. And same here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. The rest of it's going to be like going up and the back's also going to be going up and we're going to have a nice big cut out in here. We'll do that next next level really, which is always good. On the front here where we've got these two blocks, we're going to have a lower oak slab there, then an upper oak slab there. On the side of these two, we're going to have spruce slabs. We're going to go one and two. And on the back over here, where we've got those three blocks, we're just going to be on the two closest to the front. We're going to have two slabs there. That's where our shrouds are going to be sitting, okay? So same on the other side, we get that lower slab of oak there, upper slab of oak there. Right here, we get uh, two upper uh, spruce slabs. At the back, it's just these two right here. Ignore that one there like that. And uh, if you guys do want to, we can then build up that spruce planks as well to that level. But guys, that is it for layer number four. And now for layer number five, what we're going to do, guys, is with dark oak this time, so we're just using this to kind of offset the color, gives it a nice uh, bit of variation. Um, we're going to have dark oak just on the front here. We're going to have a block of that. I'm just using the slab to make that up to a block. We're then going to have an upside down stair on the front of that with your dark oak as well. And also behind this, we're going to have a dark oak stair there like that. We're then going to have another stair, but going this way now like that and then going the other way we're gonna have an upside down dark oak on the end of that and then where we've got this block here that's where we're gonna have another upside down dark oak to make this little loop there like that okay so there we go that's what we end up getting there cool um where we've got this block right here we're gonna have an upside down dark oak just going like this way so it's just on the inside so you get a little notch there like that then we're gonna add two slabs in just to join that up 
there like that. Grab yourself a composter, so you haven't had this before, and plonk that on top of your two masts, because you will need that. On this mast, this is the way that I had to go in, so I used the front mast. You could use the back one as well, totally up to you guys. Um, I just put in two, uh, sorry, two uh, ladders there, because I like to be able to jump up there. It stops you from getting caught when you're wandering around the ship, and you, you know, you guys have all done it where you've done that thing where you end up going up. It drives me nuts, so I, <laughs> I just get rid of that. Um, then you're going to put a spruce trapdoor over the top of that. Put some blocks into here, and we're going to put in oak trapdoors here for the kind of like netting part of it. And that just means you can open this up if you want, if you're going to get your cargo out. Uh, that's absolutely fine. Then with our oak slabs, we're going to have an oak slab on the lower piece of this layer here. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to have a spruce slab. We're going to have a lower spruce slab, then an upper spruce slab. Okay, that's going to be part of the bowsprit. To this part that comes out the front there like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move over to the back now. So we're going to have two slabs just on the side of that bit. One and two. Then we're going to have an upside down stair right here. And then another upside down stair. So upside down stair there. So upside down, oops, upside down there. Upside down there. Like that. Now we're going to have a normal stair here. And then we're going to have a normal stair there as well. Okay. So you get this kind of a pattern. We'll see what happens when we get onto the next layer with this one. It'll make a lot more sense. Now what we're going to do... Um, let's build a couple of other bits out first, I think. What we'll do first is with our uh, our oak slab. We're going to place an oak slab on top of that one. Oak slab on the side there. And have this come in back by one as well here. But don't do it in that middle bit there. And we're going to have one... Going across this bit here. This looks weird. It'll make more sense in a second. Then with our oak stair, whack in the oak stair there like that. So you've got this little bit sticking out. What we can do with this bit is we can put in a grindstone for the wheel. So the only reason we got the stair there is so that it doesn't look like it's just floating there. We've got a little place to then kind of like step into as well. Then what we're going to do with our upper kind of uh, oak slabs is we're going to have an upper there. Upper there and upper there at the back. Okay. Now what we'll do is we're going to grab or we'll need to grab some other blocks. So what are those going to be? Well, we're going to need a white stained glass pane. We're also going to need a mangrove trapdoor. We're going to need a note block. Also a jungle fence and also a oak trapdoor. So lots of blocks here. But what we're basically going to have is we're going to have a window on either side of this and a window in the middle. Note blocks are going to be either side of that, just to give it a little bit of detailing. I use mangrove trapdoors on the sides of this one, because they kind of look like little portholes or like small windows. And then for the back one, I ended up going with an oak trapdoor, just because it looks like, you know, you've got four windows, so it looks a little bit fancier. At least that's what I thought anyway. But you could, of course, take all the trapdoors off, switch the trapdoors for anything else, totally up to you guys. Then with your jungle fence, we're going to have a fence here, a fence on that note block. On the note blocks on there and also on there like that and guys that is it for layer number five i want to say all right so for layer number six first thing we're going to do is grab some white concrete because i forgot to do the variation on this so you don't have to variate but i like to do it um just switch out some of those blocks for some white concrete it'll give you a little bit of a different look to your ship then, uh, which is always quite good, I find, anyway. Um, and just, yeah, every so often just switch out a block, make it look a little bit different. Uh, that's good, I thought I had that one on the other side, so that's cool that I didn't. Um, but there we go, just whack out some of these blocks like this until you're happy and you got a little bit of variation. So that's the number one thing. Again, you guys don't have to do it, I just kind of like the look of it, I think it looks better that way. Also, with our oak slab, on the last layer, I missed out two. So we're going to have one here, and then one here on the side of that. One there, one there. I just suddenly noticed, as soon as I had stopped that layer, I was like, oh yeah, I've forgotten about that. Um, but now, anyway, what we're going to do is, where we've got this stair right here, we're going to place a slab of your dark oak planks on top of that one. And with our bowsprit, we're just going to go up by two, okay? So we're going to get to there like that. With this one right here, we're going to have a dark oak slab on top of that one. And now what we're going to do with our oak slab, where we've got this layer uh, here, we're going to have a slab there, then a slab there going up, 
and also a slab right here and one right at the front as well okay so we're gonna have one there so you're basically kind of like stepping up and we've got a little bit more bulk on here where it kind of goes in and then goes up but that's a generally a pretty straight line so right here there and there and then one there like that okay and then onto the back what we're going to do is where we've got the stair right here we're going to place a dark oak slab on top we're now going to have an upside down dark oak stair just over this one and going backwards so it's in the opposite direction to what we had before down there right here we're going to have a normal dark oak stair on top of the note block we're going to have a normal dark oak stair going the other way to give a nice little loop in there uh, right on the back, we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair over the window to give it a little notch in there as well. We'll do the same on the other side, so we get that slab there. Upside down dark oak stair here. Normal dark oak stair there. And then the other way, normal dark oak stair there. And then with our oak slabs, we're going to have just one on top of the fence here. Then just go over that little window piece just to frame it. So there, there, and there. There, there. There, there, and there. There we go. Okay, so that looks pretty nice and snazzy now. And then the only other thing we need to do, of course, guys, is to put in a slab in here so we can step right up to the end part of it. Um, so it does go up like a little bit up to here. Uh, the good thing about that, I think it might even have a lantern on it. I don't know. Well, we'll find out anyway later, later down the line. So, guys, let's get on to the next two layers because it's just going to be on this back bit and we can get that finished up. So for layers number seven and eight, which will finish up the hole, what we're going to do, guys, is right at the back here with our dark oak slab, we're going to whack that onto this one right here. We're then going to have an upside down going around this way, okay, like this there. And then we're going to have an anvil in the middle. Yeah, that's right, guys. Back to the anvil. You know that I love them, but survival, hate, survival players hate me for them. Um, and then place a slab on top of that one, okay? Now, I haven't put a lantern on this one, but you could do if you wanted to, all right? Um, some people like doing it, some people don't. Uh, it doesn't really matter at all, really. It's up to you guys, all right? But you could put on, say, for example, a couple of uh, spruce trap doors and then have a lantern there. Feel free to put a uh, chain on that and have it hanging down a little bit more. I mean, that's totally up to you guys. Um, whatever you want to do, this is your ship after you built it, so go crazy and have whatever you want. I think that looks personally a little bit better, but um, you know, do that. Um, now what we're gonna do is finish up the bow sprit because it makes it nice and easy for when we do the masts. Uh, what we've got already is four of these slabs and we're gonna have 11 in total. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. And I'm just gonna knock out the ones that I don't need, all right? Like that. So we get 11. But that's it guys for the hull, so we'll now get on to the masts. Okay, so now for the masts, what we're going to do guys is grab yourself some stripped spruce wood. And we're going to start with the, the frontmost mast and we're going to go up with seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then with a composter, place that directly on top. And then also come forwards with a composter, alright? Then we're going to add six blocks on top. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Add a granite wall on and then add two fences on top of that. Feel free, by the way, guys, to put on some nice little flags if you want to. Get some colour in there. Uh, try and make up your nation's flag or whatever. You know, go for it. Um, so for the back one now, we're going to go up with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Guess what? Composter on top. Composter forwards. Then we're going to have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that ends up being just two blocks higher and it gives a nice... Uh, kind of thing going on like that. Add a granite wall on top, have two fences like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cover up the uh, little bit of the composter there with a spruce trapdoor that will kind of finish that bit up there like that. On the front now, we're going to have an oak fence and we're going to be on this one right here, the one that you can place it fully on. And then what I want you guys to do is go back, then up, then back, then up. And you just repeat this pattern until we actually hit ourselves into the main part of the ship. And then it's up to you guys if you want that kind of like zigzag all connected up kind of pattern. Or you can knock out a couple of these blocks here at the bottom, or the fences even. And then it'll give you a thinner one, which is the kind of thing that I've been going for lately. It actually gives you more to do, more more kind of room to play around with the, uh, the jib sail, which it just makes it look a little bit better. 
Next bit, we're going to connect these two masks together. So we're going to be one block down. Uh, so onto the second block, and we're going to go one, two, three, down, two, three, okay? Like that. So you get one, two, three, and then one, two, three going that way. Now, what we'll do is with our spruce stairs, we're going to be uh, two blocks up from this composter thing. So one, two, add a spruce stair onto the side of that. And you come forwards with one, and you're also going to go back with one, okay? Like that. So you get a set of three there. We're then going to go forwards and diagonal and go one, two, oops, three. I'm terrible today with block placement. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we'll do the same going the other way now. So still, you know, going up, but still with these sets of three. So we're just slightly angling the sail. This will help quite a bit to shape our um, sails when we get around to that part of it. Do the same thing here as well. So we're going to be two up, but this time we're going to go one, two, three, and four. So we're not going one back this time. And that's because this one has a four section and because it's at the back, so it then kind of like pulls in a little bit more like that, whereas this one's a little bit straighter and you'll see that in a second. We now go out and we do the same thing. We have another set of four. So one, two, three, and four knock those out there so you get slightly different ones you know that one's more angled that one's straighter but uh and that one's also slightly bigger as well it should be said down the bottom now we're just going to do the kind of like bottom part of this and then we'll connect all of this up all right so what we're going to do first is for this one right here we're going to be two blocks up one and then two place a slab on there then come forwards with your slab then go back with your slab as well and then what we're going to do is we're going to go up and diagonal. Okay, so we just go up by one slab and diagonal. We go one, two. But then the third one is going to be a spruce stair pointing upwards. And that's just so we get this kind of connection in here uh, looking correct. All right. The next one, which is this one over here, is going to be quite high up. We're going to go one, two, three, and then four. And this is going to be on the lower part of that block. Okay, so on the lower part. We're going to come forwards with one, and then we're going to add two to the back, one and two. Again, diagonal and up by a slab, and we're going to go one, two, three, and four, like that, to get to the back of that one. So we then end up with that one's connecting to that one, this one is connecting to that one. That's the kind of thing that we've got going on there, all right? So now what we'll do with our uh, oak fence is, if we go for this one first, we're going to go up with a total of five off of this uh, stair. So one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to connect forwards and we're going to end up with six to the top. So you got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we'll connect in there. On the back, we're going to start here. We're going to go up with four, one, two, three, and four. Then connect here, add another two on top. So it's three in total, one, two, so one, two, three, add another one in the back there, and then add another two on that, and then again, and add another two on that, and you'll notice you get to the end like that. Okay. But guys, that gives us the full, oh no, it doesn't, not quite yet. We need to do, of course, the crow's nest. How could I forget the crow's nest? Terrible of me. So for the crow's nest, you guys are gonna be two blocks down, uh, sorry, not two blocks. Leave two blocks. You're going to be three blocks down. Add a spruce stair onto the side here. Have one going on the back where it wraps around. Have a slab over here so you've got a one block gap. And then do the same thing over here as well. So stair there, stair there. Add oak fences on top of those. Then with your ladder, whack this on here. It is a bit inconvenient, but uh, it's absolutely fine. So then at least, you know, yeah, you have to climb onto the wheel to get there, but... You guys can get up there, because I know some of you guys like having a crow's nest, especially if you're in survival. Gives you a bit of a uh, viewpoint. Just be careful of falling to your death. So make sure you join, uh, do jump into the water if you're going to do that. But there we go. That is the mast plan and uh, bits like that. So let's get on to sails. All right. So now on to the sails. So guys, um, these, these are organic. Okay. So bear with. Um, I use white wool for mine. I still like it. It looks very fabric-y. 
But um, yeah, if you guys want to use the smooth courts and use slabs and stairs and things like that, I've some, seen some very cool, very smooth sails with all of those in there. So, you know, that is up to you guys, but we're going to do it simple-ish, I say. So first thing we're going to do is tie up the sails, of course. So we just plonk in a block just behind each of those, um, what are they called, stairs there. And then if you want to have it tied up, we just end up having bits of it in the middle, kind of bunched up. So you kind of get this like bunched up kind of look. And then you do the same thing with the other side as well. Now you have that there and have a couple bits bunched up here, perhaps like that. And that'll give you a nice tied up look. All right. But if we want to go for a kind of like full sail look, uh, which I'm going to assume you guys are, because I'm going to show you it anyway. Um, I'm just going to delete these out all over here. There we go, get rid of those. Uh, what we're going to do is a similar thing where you add in those down there to get you started. And then we're going to be trying to follow the pattern, okay? So I usually go around the outside here, add in some of these bits, bring this down. We're going to tweak this as we go. But we go down to there, maybe we pull this one out, maybe we have these down here. And now we need to start joining them up. So if we had it joined up here, go something like that. Um, now this bit's slightly out, so maybe what we want to do is push this back. But there we go, and now we can do something here perhaps, okay? We have this going out. I want to try and make it look quite smooth, all right? We're going to start out with something boring, but we're going to have a, a nice base kind of uh, thing going on. There we go. So really simple kind of thing there is we've got like this back sail there. We've got another one going forwards. Well, we need it going forwards even more. I might even just smooth that bit out. So let's now start pushing some of these blocks forwards. All right. So we might have that one there. This might even go out to there. There we go. Let's go to there. And perhaps we'll just do something like that. I don't like this corner bit. Could take that off to be fair. That does make it look better. But there you go. You could have something like that where you're trying to make it look like it's going out. Now my one over here looks quite different. <laughs> and that's because it's an organic sale. So I didn't put push these two blocks back. Uh, whereas I did on this one. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I'm actually going to knock out that one as well. And in fact, that corner block as well there. That'll make it look a little bit more shapely. Now let's do the same on the other side here. So we're going to knock out or knock these ones through there. This one's got a bit more of a shape because we've got uh, it stepping out by three. So we'll just do the same kind of technique here, which is where we're just building it up and then start to join these together. So we might have that bit there. Knock out that one. Maybe knock out these here. These will then join in to get to this bit. Have those there. And then maybe have those there like that. That's our kind of base point. Knock out that corner. Now what we'll do is we'll knock. Oh, you can't knock that one back. Oh, I can't knock that one back. Okay, that's fine. So I'll have this in here. Knock that back there. Have that there. Let's push these out now. Like this. Mm, that looks okay, actually. The only thing I'm going to do is just chunk this up a little bit down the bottom. I think that looks better. And maybe even also add in a bit more there as well. Which allows me to add in another bit there. That's better. There we go. That looks better. So you just kind of tweak it, guys. It doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. And again, this is my other one. Which I think looks worse. This this strip here looks terrible. But, uh, you know, it, it's fine. <laughs> I think this one looks better. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things with these sales, guys. Just do the best that you can. Don't worry about it too much. And you'll be fine. Right now it's up to you guys if you want to do a jib. I did with mine because it's quite a big one. So we can just whack in some blocks underneath this bit. Add in a couple into there. We then need to or need to start or start thinking about pulling this forwards. We're actually having a couple blocks there as well. Pull this forwards even more. Don't worry about it like clashing with the other sail. It doesn't matter. This is why I'm saying like even if you you know don't do perfect sails, that doesn't really matter at all. Um, but we're now going to start pulling this in. So we have that going down to there. Let's thicken this up down here as well. Like that. That looks okay, actually. So we've got a nice, really big curve going down to there. It's a nice curve that way. We've got a nice kind of line from there. And there's my other one as well. Two totally different sails, but they look very much the same. And um, 
kind of gets the point across for that. But that is it guys, for the sails, hopefully that wasn't too painful, don't worry about it too much, it's not going to be perfect, and as you'll see, it looks terrible on the other side anyway, it just looks like a load of blobs, but that's not what it's all about. So then guys, shrouds is the uh, near the end then. So for the shrouds, come to the back of your build, because we're going to do it on this side. The other side is going to be pretty terrible. So um, just warning you guys now, it won't look great. You can see here, it just stops on this one, it just stops on that one. But the other side all goes all the way up. So we do the best that we can with what we've got. We'll start with the front part of it, and you're going to use birch fence for this. So we're going to have two on top of the spruce slabs that you put in before, add another two on top another two on top, so it's three high in total. Add two onto the back of that, one and two. And we're also gonna make this three high in total, so add another two, add another two like that. Add in two behind that, and then guess what guys? It's gonna be three in total, so add another two on top. And then finally, we're just gonna have two sets of one, just going up to the first composter right there. Now we'll do the best that we can of the other side. And this will depend on what you guys have got on your sail as well, it's always different. So we're going to have that first set of three high, so one, two, three. Join on the back, and then that was three high, and that's as far as I got. But you basically just try and mirror whatever you got here, try and mirror it. What I don't do is I don't have the same, because you could have it where you do this on the inside, if you wanted to. But I find that looks weird, um, so I tend to just leave that out, but it's up to you guys, I mean... At the end of the day, it's your ship. Do what you want with it, guys, all right? For the back now, we're gonna do a similar thing where we got three high, just on that spruce slab again. Join on the inside, and then make that three high. Join on the inside, and guess what? Make that three high. This one's nice and easy, actually. And then we're gonna have three singles going up like that. On the other side, three high. Join on the back, make that three high. And then you would join on the back and do the whole thing again. But for me, that gets stuck. And what you'll find is when you're far away from the ship, you can't even tell that it just kind of stops. Again, if you guys wanted to, but you know, it's not something that I do. You could have it on the inside. And that, to me, looks really weird because we've just got these random fences. But, you know, it is up to you guys what you want to do with the ship. So guys, I do have an interior on this one, so I'm going to show you guys what I did. So what we got is, like I said, that is the entrance to the ship, is just there. I've filled this up with chests and barrels, especially we're using these little half slabs, because you can at least get into them to access them. We've got some composters in here, we've got some, uh, what they're called, crafting tables, and we've got uh, lantern. We've even got a beehive in here, because it looks like a, a crate. I put the door on here for the um, going into the actual cabin. And of course I had to leave a little gap because we've got that slab stepping up. In here, we've got the bed in the middle. That's where we've got those uh, blocks that we plonked in. And we've got a little lantern uh, just hanging off of that slab that we got right at the top of the ship. And then a chest at the end. That's obviously the pirate booty or whatever it is, the uh, the captain's, captain's booty. And then they've also got another chest in there. It's not that inspired. It's not the best interior ever. But it is a nice little ship, so... Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you on the next one.